given that all of the parameters that we measured were greater and the Navy boat, we could normalize that to the Raffner hull. All the values are 1.0 for, for the Raffner hull. We see that five and a half times greater in the pitch direction, the accelerations. If we want to protect operators, the number one thing we can do is to mitigate those forces at the source through the hull. That just means there's going to be less energy for the seats to dampen out. Remember yesterday when we were watching the video uh, that Dr. Ullman played where they had the operator and he came down and his neck just crunched really hard? I think you see part of the reason why that is. During the shock events, not only do we have a vertical force, but we also have a fore-aft force. And I think those two combined and rotations are causing the spine and the head to whip in a really significant direction. I think you see that here in the data. So roll and pitch, we see a 50% increase on the Navy boat relative to Raffner, and that's going to be a safer ride for the crew. Uh, less rotation during a shock event, uh, I think, is going to be better for the spine.